Welcome back, everybody. Joining us from Washington with a look at Axios AM co-founder and CEO of Axios, Jim Vanda. Hi, Jim. Good morning to you. Talk to us about what this morning's one big thing is. Yeah, we take a look at, there's so much coverage these days about how easy it is to get booted from the Trump White House. If you're either uh, talking smack about him internally or if you're upstaging him, we looked at what does it actually take to thrive and survive. And there are some tactics that allow some of these aides to stay there for a year, possibly make it a couple, uh, a couple of years. Uh, first and foremost is you have to really suck up to the boss, particularly on TV. And the two people who are genius at this are Stephen Miller, who's a, a policy advisor and vice president uh, Mike Pence. If you watch them in public, they are always on message. They're always praising uh, the leader and they're never critical, even in smaller gatherings off of TV. That's huge. Two is if you work on an esoteric topic. So if you're working on uh, an economic issue that's not tax cuts, or if you're uh, the energy secretary and you're working on energy issues the president doesn't care about, he's just not paying attention to you as long as you keep a low profile, uh, you're fine. The third one, a big one, is are you family? Obviously, yeah. he protects his daughter and his son-in-law, but there's people like Hope Hicks who left yesterday who really do become like family to the president, and they are untouchable internally. So, Jim, we've talked a lot about how Jared Kushner could be on his way out because yeah. of his business dealings, because of his lack of security clearance, but it seems to me, because of your reporting, that you don't think that could feasibly happen in the coming future, that the president would actually ask his daughter and son-in-law to leave the White House and, and head back to New York. I, you never know uh, with this White House, but so far, no. There's been story after story that they're on thin ice, that they don't get along with the chief of staff, yet they always survive. Family always survives. And by the way, this predates the White House. The president's always surrounded himself with a small group of people uh, that stick with him and that he sticks with. It's a really small group of people compared to uh, most uh, previous uh, presidents, but he does uh, stick with them. Uh, loyalty is huge. Look at what happened yesterday. So the VA secretary yeah. is Fired. Who is he replaced with? He's replaced with the president's personal physician. Why? Because the president has a personal rapport with him. He's seen him on TV defending him. He uh, believes that he would be loyal to him. A lot of people would say, well, why would your personal physician be qualified to run one of the most important agencies uh, in the world? But to the president, loyalty always trumps everything else. But it's interesting that you bring up family and you bring up loyalty, but there are also yeah. those that have stayed in the White House. Uh, Jim, that have sort of stayed on the fray of the White House that the president doesn't even know, and they've uh, been able to sort of maintain their safety and their position in the White House. Uh, absolutely. If you're do again, like the president has a few issues that he cares about. If you're on the other topics, like energy, a lot of the environmental stuff, as long as you're keeping uh, your head down, he doesn't pay that much attention to it. The ones that he does pay attention to trade in China. Look at Peter Navarro. So your viewers uh, know him because they, they watch you every morning and talk a lot about trade. He's the most important trade advisor internally. Every couple of months you hear a lot of people saying he's going to get fired, he's going to get fired. And he's always getting elevated because he's a true believer on the one topic that the president has been consistently a true believer on. So if you're with him on the big topics consistently, even in tough times, another way uh, to survive. And by the way, this is a tough White House to thrive in. It's not like others. It's so chaotic. You're constantly fretting about your standing. There's a lot more backbiting than I've ever seen in previous White House is so that survival guide here really does matter because as people think about taking jobs and there's a lot of jobs now to fill people have to figure out whether or not they can do a gut check can I pull this off yeah now the looming question is who, who's next if there is a next yeah. Jim Van Hai, uh, thank you we're gonna be reading Axios AM in just a little while you too can sign up for the newsletter at axios.com uh, does hey there I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube if you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.